You said there's six factors. Should we talk about what those six factors are just briefly? The first one is called glyca, which is a measurement of inflammation and infection. Mm -hmm. And it's a combination of other factors that you may have heard of homocysteine, C-reactive protein, and also like white blood cell remnants. If you have a white blood cell that's been damaged because it's battling infection, it'll fall apart. So those remnants are part of glyca. Another factor is called small HDL particles. And so again, getting back to the LDL discussion, it's not LDL that's the main problem. You want a high number of these small HDL particles because they soak up LDL. And another f factor is called citrate. So citrate, you want that to be um, at a good number. If it's too high in the blood, that means that you're toxic. Your body's filled with toxins and the citrate can't get into the cells. Now citrate is like, the st first step of mitochondrial function of the Krebs cycle. And that's some science that you may not understand, but the point is your body won't make energy unless it has citrate. Okay, then the last three all come together as a group, and that's called the branch chain amino acids, and they're valine, leucine, and isoleucine. And when you have a low number of those, it means you're not making muscle, and uh, your body can't digest it, or you're not eating enough. So we want to fix that. When these numbers are off, the end result is like the end of life. You, people call it frailty, they call it sarcopenia, which is muscle wasting. They call it cachexia, which is like when people have cancer, they can't gain weight. So you want to, you can reverse engineer this as long as it's not too far gone, right? When you're like 40 years old, like I'm 53 right now. So I've reduced mine dramatically. My score was 55 back in January and now it's and it dropped down to 31. So it dropped 24 points in just four weeks. And there's reasons why. 